Welcome to the post game show. I am your Max Peps team reporter, Renato Rodriguez, and the Marauders have beaten the Union City Soaring Eagles 47 to 7. Let's get right into the highlights. The Marauders are coming back home, seeking a fast start against the Union City Soaring Eagles after coming from behind last week to beat their rivals, the Bergen Catholic Crusaders. 33 to 30 in an epic clash between two of the top teams in the state of New Jersey and the Marauders looking early to to, to make a statement against Union City. They want to go off the quick start, make a statement. They, their county is theirs. And on the second play of the game, Union City on offense, what happens? Bang! A pick six by St. Peter's Prep linebacker Cody Simon, 30 yards to the house. Bang, 7 nothing Marauders, 56 seconds into the game, just like that. That's all the Marauders need, it's a blaze on defense, and bang, pick 6, 7 nothing. After both teams would exchange possessions without getting any points on the scoreboard, the Marauders decided on defense, you know what, I want some more pick 6s, I want another one, and this time it was by defensive lineman Juan Miranda from 19 yards out. The big guy, 19 yards out, 13 nothing Marauders, with 3.51 left in the first quarter, after the missed point after attempt. So we're going to go into the second quarter, none of the scoring happens in the first, so don't worry about it. We'll go into the second, and it'll be more of the same. Union City exchanges possessions with the punt. It's, it's Tosh time, check your watches. Check the watches, everybody. Tosh time. It's going to lead the offense on a four-play, 33-yard drive, which was capped off by a 19-yard touchdown from Bullock to wide receiver Zaire Miller. Yes, Zaire Miller after two drops in back-to-back -back weeks. Huge drops. I mean, he came to play today. It was a 19-yard score from Bullock to Miller. 20 nothing Marauders. And keep in mind, everybody, this is only the Marauders' second offensive drive of the game. So in two drives, it's already 20 nothing. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then on the next possession, what do the Marauders do? They force another turnover on defense. This time, it was by St. Peter's Prep Safety, G.J. Mazella on the recovery. And then once again, it was Taj Bullock. Bullock time. Check your watches. Bullock. They would go five plays, 50 yards, and once again, it was that connection. Bullock to Miller, and again from 19 yards out. With 7.19 left to go in the half, it is 27 to nothing Marauders. Whoa. And right before the half, right before we get to halftime, the theme of the game, Bullock to Miller, that connection, will continue one more time because... We're going to check our watches again. It's Tosh time. Union City punts the ball on offense. And then the, the offense went six plays, 91 yards. And again, it was that connection. Bullock to Miller, 38 yards out. And at the half, believe it or not, the Marauders would be up 34 to nothing. And remember, folks. State of New Jersey rules. 30,000 more points. Clock keeps running. Clocks keep keep ticking. Time goes fast. Right? Taj wants that time to go fast. So he's looking at his watch and making sure time goes fast. Because we're going into the third quarter. And another touchdown for the Marauders. This time, five plays, 65 yards. Capped off by a running back, Ethan Rodriguez. 28-yard rushing touchdown to make it a 41 to nothing game with 9.49 left in the third quarter. And, and it's going all right for the Marauders so badly that even a pop kick by kicker Alice Prescott goes up in the air, dropped by Union City on the pooch, and recovered by the Marauders at the Union City 35. And once again, they would strike for the final time this evening off. That, that's how bad this game was. It was Running clock, only one more, one more offensive drive practically the whole game. Um, they would go on a four-play, 35-yard drive. Ethan Rodriguez again from four yards out. 
47 to nothing Marauders after three quarters. A little consolation for the Union City Tour Eagles going to the fourth. As they will finally have paid there, they finally get the touchdown they were looking for. They would go on a seven play, 65 yard drive, which was capped up by their main running back, Zaire Abdul Salam. Four yard touchdown run to make it a 47 to 7 game. With 5.30 left in regulation. And that's where we're leaving right there. Game over. 47 to 7. Marauders, as I predicted. 42 to 7. Pretty close. Pretty close to the general score line of the game. But the Marauders convincing win against Union City. No no doubt. To put the, their streak as about 120 consecutive victories against Hudson County opponents for the Marauders. And they would move to 4-0 on the season. For the first time since 2013, ladies and gentlemen. It's been six years since the Marauders have last started 4-0. And the last time they started 4-0, they went to MetLife. They went to the finals that year. So we'll, we'll see if there's any superstition going on. But 4-0 for the Marauders. They won 6-0 back in 2013. They're going to look to make it five. Yes, five in a row. As they travel up to Wayne, New Jersey next week. Next Friday night, mark on the calendar, Friday night, 7 p.m. Against the DePaul Catholic Spartans, who had a tremendous game against the DeBarton Green Wave, in which DeBarton won in triple overtime. So I want to see the, how the effects of that game would be handled by DePaul Catholic in this one. But, final score is the Marauders 47, Union City 7. I am your Max Prep Team reporter, Renard Rodriguez, and have a great week, everybody. Go prep.